uh, people are giving a false proof of celebrating Milad from the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm going to make this very simple as I talked about the several several times about the Milad. Just just leave everything what the, what what people say. Just leave everything for a second and just take a uh, look at something in the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. None. Le, let's let's go back a little bit when he was mm, uh, not a messenger of Allah like before his uh, prophethood like before he became the messenger like he became the messenger at the age of 40 uh, let's go behind that behind this in his early age even he was not the messenger of Allah he wouldn't be getting involved in any type of a celebrations when the kuffar we used to uh, celebrate, set up the Christian, celebrate, uh, set up some celebrations in in the Kaaba. These people uh, used to get together in kufars, but the Prophet Sallallahu used to stay away from them even before he became the messenger. So now, less than, even in his early age, he never involved in his celebrations in this celebration because he didn't like it because he doesn't feel like this is okay to do that. But then he, when he became the messenger of Allah, then he, he removed all the idols and uh, then he finished everything. Now let's now forget about what people say that. They, they they bring in the proof from the Quran and proof from the Hadith and the proof from Quran. Let's leave it everything for aside and let's take a look at the life of the Prophet ﷺ. in his own entire life, in his own wording. He never at uh, the Sahaba. Okay, I'm the messenger of Allah. All people get together. Let's have a, a celebration because I was born. I'm the messenger of Allah. Let's do a, a nasheed competition, or the poetry, or the distributing of food, or set up any type of occasion. We do not find anything from the life of the Prophet So, example number one. Now, the example number two. We do not find. Uh, from the four main great companions from Abu Bakr, uh, 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 Umar, Uthman, and Ali radiallahu we do not find any examples from them. Okay, even the messenger was not alive. Even after that in entire uh, caliphate year, we do not find any example that the Prophet ﷺ was born. Let's set up something, the point to be noted. Even the Prophet himself, he never asked to set up something because I was born or I was born and the, all the Sahaba didn't. We do not find any example from the uh, or four Sahaba or even even Ahl Bayt. We do not find any example where anybody has uh, set up uh, the occasion just because the Prophet ﷺ was born and we should celebrate. Now those who are giving a proof, these are all false proof. This has nothing to do with the celebrating of the Prophet ﷺ. They are misguiding themselves. They are also misguiding the, the Ummah. So let's go back. If we do not find an example from the entire life of the Prophet ﷺ, we do not find an example from the four great uh, Sahabas and even Ahli Bayt. Even let's go ahead a little bit from the great uh, four scholars like Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam uh, Shafi, Imam Malik, or Imam uh, Ibn Hamar, uh, even we do not find this uh, occasion that they have set up something. Think about this. Why the Prophet didn't do that? Why the four scholars in their entire life didn't they know that the Prophet is the last messenger and we should celebrate? Now this is the point. Didn't the Prophet ﷺ didn't know that he was the last messenger? So let me uh, set up something. Didn't the Sahabas know that? Didn't the four scholars know that? Didn't the Ahl Bayt knows that? No one knows that. The first time it was being started after uh, after 500 years. This was started at the end of 500 years. So in the beginning of the sixth uh, after uh, after 500 years. So this was started in the first uh, 600 centuries. This was not started, and this was started by the the group called the Fatimids, uh, who claimed to be the descendants of the Fatimids uh, from the Prophet Sallallahu Like uh, they call uh, themselves, they are descendants. But Allah Alam, they were descendants and not that. So they were the, all the Shias. So the Shias was who the one who started that, and this was big. Uh, biggest gathering was being set up the first time was in Iraq, uh, by the 
a leader named uh, Muzaffar in the in Arbal, and he was the first one who set up the biggest gathering uh, because he started this uh, thing because of, by looking at the Christian, they used to celebrate uh, of the birthday of the Jesus please be upon him. So the Shias, the Shia started this uh, in the Muslims to corrupt the the Sunnah way. The Shia started. Shia started this to corrupt the religion, to distort the Islam, and they started this way that the Christians are celebrating too good for the Jesus people, so we are going to do more better than them. So this was started in the early of the 600th century. All the ignorant scholars, the so-called scholars, they are following uh, the Shia group like let's celebrate that but if we go back to the life of the prophet sallam, or the four sahabas or the four scholars in their life we do not find any uh any sort of hadith and we do not find any um any reference that would prove that with the prophet sallam, as himself that i was born i'm the last messenger okay i'm going to be the last messenger because there's no messenger to come out for me so let's set up something a very good way but he used to fast on Monday because he was born on Monday. Now, they also make a proof that he was born on Monday. That's why uh, they are celebrating. All these uh, proofs are unauthentic. These are based on ignorant scholars who does that, not someone who's following the authentic teachings of the Prophet And if you really want to uh, celebrate the Milad, we have to adopt his life into our life by following his teaching, how to live a simple life rather than going to beyond the exceeding limits and starting and waiting uh, something, a new uh, matter in our life and uh, start something with that. But rather we should adopt the Prophet's life in our life. Mm -hmm.